Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial done by C3D. My name is Watson, I am the optimization and the artist manager of the company. Today I'm going to show you how to install GLTF to Blender. So it's not a very complicated thing as you know that C3D is now changing our actually we are changing our workflow to GLTF so it is quite essential as an artist who is working under C3D to understand how to work with GLTF so this first session is going to be on how to install um, GLTF to Blender and then afterwards the next session is going to be on how to work on GLTF so let's start away so I've just done a Google search. You can do it. It's very simple. Just say like you know Blender. Oh, sorry, G L T F Blender. Just an ordinary Google search, and then you get the first link. So just go to that, and then you say clone or download, and you say download zip. So this is very important. Okay. I will be giving a link to uh, to the Google Drive where you can straight away download instead of like you know doing a Google search if you like to do that otherwise you can do a Google search it's no problem at all so once you're done with that you just open blender it's an ordinary scene so the first thing you need to understand is that you need to um, this is an add-on okay so since this is an add-on you have to um, install um, this add-on to Blender. So first thing what you do is you go to File, User Preferences and under Scripts you have to browse to where you have installed um, the GLTF Exporter ma Master. So I've already installed it on my disk so I'm just straight away going to it and then you have to select the script folder okay you, you you select the script folder and you say accept and you save user settings and close the user preference dialog and restart blender okay I've restarted blender and the next thing I need to do is activate this add-on uh, on Blender so I go to file preferences file and user preferences once again and go this time go to add-ons click add-ons and then you search for GLTF so I've done a GLTF and then you and there's this thing called import export GLTF 2.2 format you have to activate that scene okay you activate it by just ticking on this it's very simple you just once you you know if it's not ticked it's just grayed off and then you tick it and it's activated close and uh, that's it so the next section is going to be on how to work on GLTF so I recommend that you watch that video also thank you